Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the British Grand Prix. We are running on a slight delay because Zerka is struggling to fit into his helmet but in the meantime we will tell you the starting grid for today's Grand Prix. On pole and not surprisingly the first to the white line yesterday was Harry Rotashaw lining up alongside the lanky man himself Mini Minter. In P3 we have Bazinga next to Joshua Zerka in the McLaren. Next we have Toby or Toe Jizzle in P5 with Vicstar123 trying to make amends for his poor qualifying and finally, we have the big man himself, KSI, rounded up the seven drivers. Racing in Silverstone today, it is a high-speed track with 18 turns at a distance of 3.66 miles. There are two DRS zones to help with overtakes, and we expect this race to be a feisty one. One of the key talking points for today's Grand Prix is this man, KSI. He has really struggled in the previous five races, still yet to finish a Grand Prix from constant crashes to just being an idiot, KSI has made a name for himself in the paddock. This, though, was my favourite moment of the season. Here in Canada, everybody gets away as the five red lights disappear, but KSI fell asleep in his car at the start of the Grand Prix. He did wake up, though, the very next lap, and, uh, yeah, he created one of the biggest collisions in Formula 1 history. One of the drivers was Calix, and we wish him a speedy recovery, as it's reported he is missing his hip and chin from the incident. So you can see the predicted pit stop strategy for today's race. The soft to the mediums will be the preferred strategy, but the option to switch onto the hard tyres is there as well. All the drivers have managed to survive the formation lap, and we are ready to get underway at any moment. The drivers with the most collisions so far is KSI at 8, Bazinga at 5, and Road to Shore at 3. Let's get ready for lights out. It is three, four, five red lights here in Silverstone. And away they go. And Harry Rodeshaw gets off the line. Well, so does Mini Minter and Bazinga. But out behind it is KSI. He is spun before he even makes it 50 yards into this Grand Prix. But Rodeshaw is flying. Bazinga and Mini Minter are really going at it. As we come into Village Corner, Harry Rodeshaw with a good distance ahead of Mini Minter almost losing it, which allows Bazinga to sweep on through and take second place. You can see Zerka and Toby going side by side as Rodeshaw comes onto the Wellington Strait with a hefty lead. Toby does get ahead of Joshua Zucker and what a start that was to the Grand Prix. If we go and have a look back at the incident at the very start of the Grand Prix, this is riding on board with KSI. What did he do off the start? He gets away, not the greatest of starts, but he keeps it into gear and as soon as he hits up into third to fourth gear, that's when he loses it. He spins out and he's right at the back of the pile. Not the start that KSI had in mind. Bazinga is right on the tail of Rotashaw. He wants to make that overtake and take the lead of this Grand Prix on lap three as he thinks about a move down the inside, but he's going to wait for the straight. Reminder, it is lap three, so DRS has been activated. He's going to have the speed down this straight on the Mercedes driver. Is Bazinga good on the inside? On the outside, where's he going to go? He goes down the inside. Oh, Harry makes a little bit of a movement to, to fake him out and uh, potentially scare Bazinga there. Choke on Rice! <laughs> And you can hear Bazinga is not happy about that at all. But he is not giving up as we make that run down to Cops Corner. We know what it's like when two cars go into Cops. We saw it with Verstappen and Hamilton last year. But this time it's Bazinga down the inside of Rona Shore he goes. And he makes his stick. What a move that is from Ethan. I think there was a bit of wheel bang in there. So I'm not sure what Harry's going to think of that one. As uh, we have a bit of team radio from Rona Shore. And uh, there you go. You can see exactly what he thinks of that one. But nonetheless, Bazinga up into P1. Harry back into P2. You've got Mini Minter in P3. Uh, Tobe Jizzle in P4. Zerka P5. Vic P6. As Harry looks for a move around the outside. Didn't expect that to come. Bazinga defends well, but he goes wide. The, uh, Bazinga went off the circuit. And now Rodeshaw's going to have a go at him around the outside. Bazinga outbreaks himself. Potentially with a grass on his tyres. And all oh, the bang wheels again. He's hit Rodeshaw off the track. That's surely got to be a penalty. Uh, very risky and uh, dangerous driving here. And Mini Minter's going to take advantage. He goes down the inside of Rotashaw. Has he made it stick? Mini Minter's up in a P2. Rotashaw will not be happy with Ethan after that one. And we'll find out if Ethan's going to get a penalty. Let's see what happens. So he's defending uh, against Harry in the middle of the track. 
Uh, does he run a bit wide here? He does. He, I think he almost loses it. Runs a bit wide. Goes off the track. Comes back on. And then just completely misses his braking zone here. Which allows Harry to go for the switchback. Gets on through. And wow, that is very aggressive from Bazinga. This fucking fat old prick, mate. He's putting on pounds again as well. You know, fucking fat cunt. And you can see what Harry thinks of that one. We are riding on board with Joshua Zerka as he is looking for a move on Toad Jizzle. Bit of a gap between Toad Jizzle and Road to Shore now. You can see Zerka was thinking of a move down the inside, but he's going to wait for the DRS straight as Race Control have come back with a five-second penalty for Ethan Bazinga for that aggressive move on Road to Shore. So that's going to hurt him. He will be serving that in the pits when he comes in to put on the mediums. And Zerka looks for a move down the inside of Toby, but backs out of it. I don't know why he's backed out of that. You've got to go for that move. The opportunity is... Is there and he's got another opportunity now down this drs straight what's he gonna do down the inside now he backs out of it again i mean he's living up to his name isn't he as being the most boring sidemen member and uh, he is very boring to watch on the track because he doesn't want to make a move Big start, one, two, three, is the first driver to come into the pits. He's potentially going for that undercut. He was quite a bit behind Zerka and Toby. So uh, he's, he's trying something different here. Nothing to lose. Why not? Big start coming out of the pits. Let's see what he can do. Riding on board with Vic here, he's up into P5, he's managed to jump Toby while he was in the pits, and uh, a couple more people do have to pit, so you can see, you've got Rodashaw who's already pit, just ahead of Vic, uh, and then you've got Zerka, Miniminter, and Bazinga still needing to pit, so Vic Star's undercut has really worked out, Bazinga into the pits with Miniminter, remember Bazinga has that 5 second penalty, which he is serving right now, and that's going to allow Miniminter to get back past him, Bazinga can now leave the pits, but those 5 seconds could prove crucial as around the final corner come road to shore and big star one two three this is gonna be very very tight on the exit where is bazinga and miniminter gonna come out big star around the corner bazinga's behind big star big star one two three is up in a p3 miniminter and road ashore are in p1 and p2 and they're gonna be fighting out remember miniminter is gonna have cold tires and road ashore is trying to capitalize can he get into p1 yes he can miniminter on the other hand is stuck down in p2 but he's gonna try and make a move Back at Road Ashore at the end of this straight. Can he get it done? He's going to try and go around the outside. Big Star 1, 2, 3 has hit Mini Minta. He's lost his front wing. It's absolute carnage. He tries to rejoin back on grass. He's hit Mini Minta again. And they're both out of this Grand Prix. That's surely going to be a red flag. And yes, it is. Oh, my goodness me. Let's have a look at the replay here. Mini Minta goes for a move around the outside of Road Ashore. And Big Star just completely outbreaks himself. Hits Mini Minta, and to make it even worse, tries to rejoin back on the track, loses the rear, and out of the race he goes. Akuma, Akuma, Vic Star will groom ya. As you can see, the conditions have got worse. So it looks like we're going to be running in wet conditions for the three lap shootout between these five drivers. Oh my god. Wait, how close is Florida to Miami? We are ready for the restart. Lap 11. It's a three-lap shootout. Five red lights, and away we go. Bazinga, he doesn't get the greatest start. Rodashaw does. Rodashaw's going to hold on to P1 in these wet conditions. Bazinga's lost out. The Alpine of Toby's gone through, and Joshua Zerka around the outside. Bazinga has had a terrible start. He's only got three laps to get through the field to get back up in the P1, but Rodashaw has had the perfect start here in Silverstone. He leads the group away with Toe Jizzle in P2. Could Toe Jizzle get his first ever win in Formula 1? Zerker in P3 and a special mention to KSI. He is still on the track in P5 ready to fight with the front runners if he gets a chance. Bazinga, can he look for a move on Joshua Zerker? He's going to go for a move here. He tries to go around the outside. This is going to be a difficult move to make stick. Can he get it done on the exit? Bazinga, oh, they side by side what an attempted move this is still side by side coming out in the cops we know what it's like when two guards go side by side all this battling is letting harry and toby get away bazinga around the outside berserker sticks it on through and bazinga has to settle in behind her does he down the inside ethan bazinga he's got it done what a move up in a p3 
for Bazinga. Toby in P2. Road ashore in P1. Can Bazinga close that gap down? He's only got two and a half laps to do it. Let's see if he can. A lap and a half to go. Can KSI move up a position and take P4 away from Zerka? They've already lost track to the front three. But KSI down the inside is going to be his first ever overtake in Formula 1. He's got it done. We have half a lap to go here in the Sidemen Grand Prix. Bazinga, he really only has one more chance to overtake. Potentially into Stowe, maybe into Vale if he is close enough. But I don't think he's going to get P1. But can he steal that P2 away from Tobe Jizzle? Is he close enough? He's in the slipstream, in the wet conditions. Is he brave enough to go for it? Even Bazinga, yes he is. What a move that is down the inside of Tobe Jizzle. He steals P2 from Toby. It's going to be P1 for Rhoda Shaw. But oh no, Bazinga's gone for it! Absolutely outrageous! Made contact with Harry, and so goes Tom Chisel! Tom Chisel is gonna win his first ever Grand Prix! Bazinga and Harry still going at it! Bazinga's lost it! KSI! KSI is on the podium! I do not believe it! Oh my goodness me! Congratulations to this man, Tobe Drizzle, for winning his first ever Formula One Grand Prix. And he's going to celebrate in style, in front of the home crowd, doing donuts. And he will also go down into the Guinness World Record books for the F1 driver with the longest nose to win a Formula One Grand Prix. Also, congratulations to your driver of the day, KSI. He made his first overtake this Grand Prix. And what an overtake it was. Down into Stoll on Joshua Zerka. What a move that is. And not only that, he finished the race. But not only that, he got onto the podium. A well-deserved driver of the day for KSI.